The Weightless Princess A long, long time ago, there lived a king and queen who wished for a child. After many years, they were blessed with a daughter, the most beautiful little girl they had ever seen. The entire kingdom was happy, and the king himself wrote out invitations for a celebration. Friends and family, priests and wizards were invited to the child-naming ceremony. But the king forgot one name, a witch, the most powerful, the evilest of them all. When the witch heard of the celebrations, she decided to go to the ceremony anyway. Welcome! Do give a good blessing to my daughter. Most certainly, your highness. Where is the little angel? Her mother will bring her out soon. Even though it was clear that the king had meant no harm and had genuinely forgotten her, the fact made the witch even more furious, and she vowed revenge. When the naming ceremony was to begin, and scented water was to be sprayed on the princess, the witch secretly put a magic powder in the water. Soon, as it was sprinkled on the baby, the baby lost all her weight. She ceased to be affected by gravity, and she laughed and giggled. What is this? In fright, the nurse let go of the baby, but the princess did not fall. She flew in the air. My daughter, what has happened? It could only mean that the princess has been cursed. They grabbed the baby to keep her safe. Some people thought nothing of this odd curse. A baby who weighed nothing and whose only emotion was happiness. But it really was quite serious. One day, someone opened the window of the princess's room. The heavy wind came into the room and the princess blew away. A great search was launched in the palace, but they could not find the baby. Later that day, the royal gardener was breaking up leaves from the garden when he heard laughter coming from under a pile of leaves. It was the princess. So the gardener took her into the palace again. From that day on, the king and queen realized how dangerous this curse was, and out of fear and caution and protection, they kept the princess under watch every moment. As she grew up, the princess felt like a prisoner. There was only one place where she felt alive and free, and it was the only place where she seemed to have any weight. The palace overlooked a grand lake. The princess would swim in it every day. Only while she was swimming did she have weight. One day, the king's scholars Tim Tom and Bartholomew noticed this, and came to the king with an idea. They offered a solution to the princess's lack of gravity and weight. Yes, please, tell me your solution right away. Well, you see, your highness, it's a little technical. She's such a happy child, and our hypothesis is that her happiness allows her to have weight when she swims. If water flowing around her, plus happiness, cures her temporarily, then perhaps water flowing from within her might cure her permanently. We're both agreed. We must simply get the princess to cry. That might cure her of her weightlessness. What do you say? So the king announced all over his kingdom that the one who made the princess cry would be rewarded. So many men and women did try, but none could make the princess shed even a tear. One night, a prince was passing by the lake, and he saw someone drowning in the middle of the water. He dove into the lake to save a life. How dare you lift me out of the lake? I, I thought you were drowning. How ridiculous. I am weightless. Oh, you're the princess who has no gravity. Have you ever fallen? Uh, no, I cannot fall. I can only be carried by the wind and made to fly. Then why don't you try falling with me? So saying, the prince jumped into the water with the princess in his arms. And it was indeed the most thrilling experience the princess had ever had. <laughs> so, how was that? The most marvelous thing I ever knew! So, the prince and the princess met at the lake every night and swam together. But when the witch found out about the princess's love for the lake, 
she cast a spell on the lake to make it dry. Slowly, little by little, the lake began to die. And with it, so did the princess. What is going to become of our daughter? The princess's life is clearly tied to the lake. If we don't revive the lake, we shall not be able to revive her either. As the lake dried day by day, when only a few deep puddles remained, the princess could not even speak or wake from her sleep. But in one of the puddles, some boys found a golden plate below a rock that read thus, If the lake is to live for the sake of men, it must be allowed to take the life of one man. But that man must be willing to offer his life willingly. He must willingly sit on the dry bed of the lake with all his will, till the water rises far above his head. When the king heard of this, he thought it redundant and sent a message to everyone. Your Highness, I shall offer my life to the lake, but on one condition. What is it? If I survive, I want to marry your daughter. I sincerely hope you do survive, and I agree. So the prince sat on the bed of the lake. The king's men carried the unconscious princess in a boat and laid her beside him. Then the water slowly began to rise. Soon, the water covered his knees, and then it was high enough to make the princess's boat wobble a little. The princess began to regain strength and woke up. She saw the water rising and was happy. She did not know why the prince was sitting in the water while she was in a boat. Prince, my boat is floating. The water is rising. My lake is not dying. We can swim here again. There is nothing I want more than to swim again with you. But from now on, I can't. Your health will only return if the lake fills. And it will only fill if I remain here at the bottom and give up my life for you. For the first time in her life, something tugged at the princess's heart. And the higher the water rose, the more strongly she felt emotion in her heart. She did not want the prince to die. Finally, as his face disappeared beneath the water, she made her decision. She dove into the water and pulled the prince up to the surface. By the time she had brought him ashore, he had stopped breathing. The princess panicked, and she cried. She cried louder than anyone had ever cried, and her voice echoed across the waters of the lake. The king's physicians came and attended to the prince, but he would not wake. They put him in the castle to recover, and the princess sat by his side all night long. The next morning, the princess and the prince opened their eyes, and they both smiled. Overjoyed, the princess got out of bed, stamped her foot hard in delight, expecting to float into the air. But she fell instead. Princess, you did not fly. You fell. You have your gravity back. My prince... I have fallen in love with you. There was such happiness in the palace. The lake was full to the edge. The prince was alive, and the princess had got her gravity. Prince and princess were married, and they lived happily ever after. The End If you enjoyed this story, please like and subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get future updates. And don't forget to comment!